Hey everybody, today's video brings us out to Target on this very, very windy day. And the reason why we're actually out here at Target is because I've been contemplating doing something and I think I might actually be going through with it. It's it's something I've been, again, it's something I've been contemplating doing just because things are getting kind of crazy at home as far as space is concerned. We've been talking about maybe possibly moving to Florida and if we do that, space will definitely be a concern. We have to downgrade. I'm not talking about my library. For those of you who do not know, I do collect movies. I have another channel called Cinema Sickness where I go out every day and do some thrifting and try to find movies and toys and collectibles and things I want to pick up for me and my collection. My collection is not being downsized. I don't care. I will, I will stay put. I will not move to Florida if it means downsizing my collection. So that is not happening. But there's some other stuff I have to focus on. We're going to need a cart today for for my idea. So anyway, downsizing is something that's gonna have to probably happen at some point. And if you don't also know, I tend to resell things. I never really considered myself a, re a reseller because I'm not one of those people who go out and go to a store specifically to find stuff to resell. I don't have one of those apps on my phone where I'm scanning things to see how much they cost all the time. And I don't fill up an entire cart full of stuff and then go over to a corner and start going through the cart to try to figure out, you know, what it is I want to keep and what it is I don't, just to make sure I, I get everything before somebody else gets it. I don't really do that. Those are the kind of resellers that I usually see out at stores that I kind of give a bit of a, um, a hard time to sometimes, but I, um, I don't really do that. So I never really considered myself a reseller. I happen to just go to stores and I'm looking for stuff for me, but if I happen to see something interesting that I could resell, I would pick it up to resell it. But my pile of stuff I have to resell is getting completely out of hand. Not only do I have a decent amount of stuff that I've actually already listed that I have to resell, I have a huge, gigantic pile of stuff that I haven't even listed yet that I have to resell. And it's just, it's its insane. It's, it's out of hand. And if we do end up moving, I'm not really gonna have anywhere to store this stuff. So I'm thinking I wanna start really focusing on just movies. I wanna resell, just resell movies. Probably, in theory. <laughs> Don't hold me to this. Again, that's my that's my theory. That's my thought. That's what I wanted possibly maybe do is just stick to, to movies only and no more toys and collectibles and board games and things like that that take up a ton of space, a ton of room. Because that kind of stuff, I've got bins full of this stuff. I, I literally have bins and bins and bins and bins and bins full of board games and puzzles and action figures and and Funko Pops and and plush and things like that and it's just it's too much there's just there's just too much stuff so I'm thinking about maybe possibly discounting that to, to get rid of it or selling it to like one person I have a couple of people there's definitely one person right now I know who might want to buy some of it if not all of it and I have some other people who if they don't buy everything they might want to buy some stuff too so I might just end up getting rid of all that or taking it to a like a, a vintage retro toy store and just selling it to them for a for a, you know, a lower price. Maybe I'll make a slight profit off all this stuff. At least as long as I get my money back, that's what I really, I really care about. But um, yeah, thinking about just focusing mainly on movies. So when I go out to a thrift store or a pawn shop or flea market or wherever I am, I'm looking around and I want to buy some stuff to resell. It's going to be movies. And I want to start going to conventions and just setting up movies. I have this image in my head of just like four or five tables full of nothing but movies. I think that's going to be pretty awesome. I definitely want to I want to start doing that. After all, if you guys do follow my other channel, my other channel is Cinema Sickness. So I do have quite the uh, the sickness for cinema. And as such, I, uh, I'm i thinking about just doing just doing movies, just sticking to, to nothing but movies. But if I'm going to start doing that, there's something I'm going to need. Although I'm not. <laughs> now that I'm doing this video, I'm not seeing what. Oh, wait, there's is there one? That's it. They have. They might only have one here. Are you kidding me? I really needed more than, I needed more than just one of these. So these, um, these bins right here are perfect for holding movies. They actually, they're like the exact height. Well, they're, they're a little bit, maybe like a quarter of an inch taller than a DVD or a Blu-ray. So these are perfect for lining up movies inside of. I love these. My idea is I want to get these and then just put movies inside them. And then when I get to a convention, all I have to do is take this out of the van, plop it on the table, take the lid off, and my setup's done. That's it. I have no 
There's no setup involved. There's no, right now when I do conventions, because I do have all kinds of toys and collectibles and things like that, it's a huge pain in the butt. I have to build shelves. I have shelving units I have to put together. I gotta put these shelving units together. <clears throat> Excuse me, I gotta put these shelving units together. I gotta put all these different toys and collectibles and stuff on top of the shelving units. And, and, and it's just, it's like three hours of me setting up just to just to put a couple things on some shelves and then i have to take all that stuff down later on it's it's a mess it's it's a huge pain in the butt to have to do i i hate setting up for for shows this would be so much easier just put everything inside bins take the lid off put them on the shelf and you're good to go however with that being said i think they only have one one actual tub here that's it i don't see any more tubs that are this size i was hoping to grab I don't even know if these go for, how much are they selling these for? Are they, they're definitely not, they're definitely not 24 bucks unless they really up the price on these things. I don't think they are. They were like, maybe, maybe $10. What's the, what's the court on these? They are, I don't know what these are. These are, these are a 32 quart, 32 quart. Yeah, they're, wow, they're 10, 29. They actually did up the price on these. They were cheaper than this before, but they're now $10 and 29 cents. I, I need a bunch of these. I really need a whole lot of these. So I, I'm not gonna go too crazy buying them today. I wasn't gonna spend like a like $1,000 on, on tubs today, but I wanted to buy at least a couple of them. And it looks like that's it. That's the, that's the only one they have, unless they have them somewhere else. I don't, I mean, I'm seeing some tubs here, but I'm not seeing any more of those, those specific ones. And those are the specific ones I need to pick up. So that's kind of a bummer. They got a ton of these. These are the ones I used to buy for, for toys and collectibles and, and things like that. And they have thousands, look at these. There's so many of these tubs. In fact, I think when I was walking up here, I saw more of them over here, if I'm not mistaken. They actually have, yeah, down there, there's a whole bunch more of those same size tubs. So if you're looking for those sizes, this this uh, Target is your um, your Target to come out to. They got a ton of these tubs. They just don't have the tubs I need. I need the ones that are right, right here. So I might end up having to head out to a different Target. Probably not today. I don't know if I'll have time. Maybe tonight, maybe, maybe the wife will want to go. My, my wife always wants to go to Target. Maybe I'll say, hey, let's head out to uh, to Target and we'll go to like a different one. There's like 17 Targets in the area. So that wouldn't be difficult to do, but I'm thinking for this Target, it's just gonna be that one <laughs> tub, which is kind of a shame. But anyway, I think this is gonna be my idea to stick to media, stick to movies, stick to DVDs, VHS, Blu-ray, stuff like that. Maybe some CDs here and there, maybe some video games, things like that that can easily be put into these tubs. And then, like I said, you put them in here, you sit the lid on, you store them in a, in a um, bedroom somewhere. They, they don't take up a ton of space. I mean, yes, I, I will have a lot of movies, I guess, to resell, but uh, in, in comparison to how much other stuff I have, the, the movies I have to resell take up a minimal amount of space. It's all the other crap that I have to resell that takes up a ton of space. Re reselling movies would not be, um, would not be that bad. It would not take up that much space. Maybe like a, a stack of these in a, in a corner somewhere in, a, in one room. I can, I can figure it out a place to put them. So anyway, that's my idea. Put movies inside these. And then when I get to a convention, I put like four tables together, which is easy. They're just, uh, they're just picnic tables. You fold out the legs, stick them up. And then boom, I just put these out on a, on a table. Just take the lid off and you're good to go. It's going to take me all of like four, four minutes to set up a at a show, I'm, I'm digging that. So I might, I might actually start doing more conventions then. One of the reasons why I don't do a lot of conventions is because I hate the setup process. I love conventions, I love going to shows, I love going to conventions, I love when conventions invite me out to them. I love setting up, at, or not setting up, I love I love going to them, I love being at them, I love the people, I love selling stuff, I, I, I love conventions. I just hate the hassle of packing up the van and then unloading it and then setting everything up and then you sell all day and then you're tired at that point and then you have to take everything apart and then load the van back up. It's a huge, huge, big pain in the butt process. This would make my life so much easier. It would probably actually make me want to go out and, and start doing a lot more conventions. I used to do a ton. I don't do as many anymore as I used to. So anyway, that's my idea. But unfortunately, I'm only grabbing one, one tub today. That is it. So all right, guys, with that, I think we are pretty much done here at this um, at this Target. I'm going to I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to head back home and then probably tonight head up, head out to another Target and try to find more of these uh, these tubs. So what do you guys think? Good idea to just just to stick with with medium. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just again, I don't really have the room to re be reselling just toys and collectibles and board games and puzzles and plush and stuff like that. It's just it's gotten too out of hand. I have too much stuff as it is. I'll never get around to actually listing all that stuff. And it's just, it's too much. Maybe occasionally I'll pick up something here and there. But if I find something that's a toy or collectible and I, I think to myself, or, or I know this is worth a lot. This is like something that would definitely sell. I'd be, I'd be ridiculous. It, it would be ridiculous to pass on this. Maybe then I'd still pick it up. 
So occasionally, but I'm thinking for the most part, just stick with the media, make it easy to store it, make it easy to, to, to take it to a show and to put it out on a shelf and everything like that. I think it's gonna make sense. I don't know, leave comments down below. What do you guys think? Like I said, I'm not much of a reseller, but now I'm just gonna stick to what little reselling I do will just be movies. Anyway, all right, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this idea. That is my idea, but I need more, need more tubs, Target. Hopefully another one will have some. So, all right, guys, with that, we are done. So as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to help putting gas in Vanderbilt and Pumpkin, so we can go out and do some fun adventures. Or we can go out to conventions and I can resell movies. All right, guys, so definitely, like I said, check down below. Check down below also for a link to my other channel, Cinema Sickness, where I do do, I do do daily thrifting videos where I go out and look for movies and, and stuff like that. It's mostly just me looking for movies now. So definitely um, check that channel out if you do not subscribe to that already. All right, so like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you guys do subscribe or you are subscribed, then I will see you in tomorrow's video. All right, thanks for watching. I'm now on the hunt for more tubs. All right, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.